Almost everybody out there in the world done had a paper cut before. And them shits hurt. Today I'm going to show you how you make a prison knife out of toilet paper. Check it out. Well, hold down, man. Suitcase this. My cell phone and my charger don't walk with a limp. You get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it. Next time I see you ass, you gon' need airlifted. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of K-Fraud TV. Y'all go ahead, hit that like, subscribe button, and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. This video right here is kind of different than the videos y'all are used to me doing. This one here, I'm going to be showing you how you make a prison knife out of toilet paper. Okay? You know, when it comes to being in prison, there's different things you can use, you know, to harm people or make it to protect yourself whatever it may be but if you want to do something more than just slice someone open with a razor blade this video here is going to show you i know in your mind you're probably thinking you can't make a knife out of toilet paper how's that possible you're going to find out right now so let me go ahead and turn my camera around therefore y'all could see it step by step with your own eyes First thing you want to do is very simple. You get your toilet paper and you tear off five squares. One, two, three, four, five. That is all you're going to need right there for the toilet paper. Then what comes next is the glue that you got out of the school building. Okay, which it'll either be like this or it'll be a glue stick or, you know, however you get it, it's still going to be accessible. Okay, and then you're going to want to grab these squares and fold them all in half. have all five squares folded in half as you see there's a crease in the middle you want to get your glue and put it on one side you got to be very careful though because due to it being toilet paper you know toilet paper is meant to absorb wetness and you know it can tear easily and everything so you just want to put it all on one side like this that's it just like this Okay, and then you're going to fold it back over. Just like that. And you're going to flatten it down real gentle so you don't tear the tissue. All right. And once you're done doing it like that, you're going to do the same thing for the other four. So as you see... This is what they're going to look like. Boom. Just like that. All right. Set this to the side right here. And we'll do the same for the next four.
All right, so now what you're gonna do for the next part is, now you're gonna layer all five of these on top of each other, okay? So you're gonna find one to start with and you're gonna go ahead and add the glue on top of this one. Like I said, you gotta be very careful when you do it because it is toilet tissue. So you know it's gonna, it's easy to tear, which it's gonna be leaking on the sides a little bit, but that's all right. So after you put it like that, you're gonna go ahead and do this and put one on top of that. And you're gonna layer it to where you have five layers now. Okay, just like that. Pat it down. And do the same thing for the next three. All right, so next, you're going to hang this up to dry. You're going to tape one end of it to the side of your bunk, if that's where you're at in prison or anywhere that you can hang it. That way, it's like this, okay? When it is like this hanging, all the glue is going to run through all the tissue and dry that way. Here's an example. Then you let that bad boy hang like this. You want to tape it on the edges, just like this, you want it to hang and dry so that way you know it can it can it can the glue can can run through it. Now that the glue part is over with and we let it hang out to dry overnight, we're gonna grab it and stick it under books to flatten it out so it's not shaped with a bubble because from it hanging it's, it has a little bubble in it. So you're gonna you're gonna put it under books, therefore it can press it and flatten it. So I chose the books that I had while I was in prison. And this is what it'll look like next. You can hear it. It's already starting to form. Okay, it's already getting hard as it is. Now, what you do is you trim these two edges right here. The one that had the tape on it and this other end so it'll be an even smaller one like this. Now that you did that, you wanted an actual rectangle, okay, to where the whole thing is hardened. And now what you're going to do is you're going to get you a pencil or a pen and you're going to draw a line straight through the middle of it longwise. like this and now you're gonna cut this all the way down so you'll have two rectangles instead of one now what you're gonna do is this is where the glue comes in once again now you're going to glue these two together. So you're going to add a little glue like this.
like this. So now you just went from five layers to 10 layers. And then you're gonna go ahead and let this dry. Now that you finally let it dry and you have your 10 layers nice and solid, you're gonna wanna get you a pencil and you're gonna wanna draw it out. The design of how you want it pointed. You're gonna wanna draw the point that you want like this. So that way you can cut it. You put a point on it. So that way it's like a real deal knife. Okay, as you see, now we have our point. Hear how hard it is? It's like a hard plastic. That right there alone is good enough to do the job. But if you want to make it look pretty, then you know you can get you some paper, glue it right here on the sides, Color it with a pencil or a marker, something that you may have got out of the school building as well or got off the canteen list. Therefore, you'll have a handle so you can know the differences on which end. You feel me? I'm going to go ahead and put the handle on it and let y'all see how it comes out. Now, as you see, we got our paper handle put on both sides. It's glued and dried. We're going to go ahead and color it in so that way, you know, it stands out. So that way it looks like a real knife. you have it a knife made out of straight toilet paper and glue the handle alone is just to make it look prettier like I said you could do damage with it without the handle but if you want it to be more of a prettier looking knife you know then of course you're gonna add a little handle on it and there you go this right here will do the job and the coolest thing about it is it goes through metal detectors. There is no metal in it. You've seen it with your own eyes. No matter where you are, just remember, where there's a will, there's a way. Y'all seen it. k Frog TV just showed y'all. Out of toilet paper, you can save yourself and protect yourself out of something so simple it's toilet paper and glue. If y'all like this video, make sure y'all hit that share button. Make sure you hit that like. Y'all already know how we do it over here. K-Frog TV keeps it authentic. Until next time, this frog.